All right, so what you're about to see is not my recommendation of do your own chicken coop run. It's just me and my husband Don sharing with you how we did it. Of course, we had some snaffles along the way and so I hope you learn from our mistakes. Um, and we also had the advantage that we have a lot of power tools and so some of the work was easier because of that. We bought this chicken coop from Agway. It's big enough for six chickens. It has four laying boxes. So now we have to build a chicken run for the coop. We use these post hole diggers to dig the holes for the 4x4 four four post. We're going to attach the frames to these 4x4 four four posts. We made two frames, 12 feet by 6 feet, and stapled chicken wire to it. We set the 4x4 four four post in with dirt and rocks, no cement. We put galvanized wire around the exterior of the coop and the run to protect them from ground predators. Don rigged this genius system of a pulley system to keep the door closed. Hi, so we've had some rain delay, but as you can see today, it's a beautiful sunny day, so we're back at it. Uh, so today we're going to be working on putting up a partial roof to provide some shade for our chickens and also um, put up some cage fencing on the perimeter around the ground of the exterior of the uh, coop and run. That's to prevent the um, ground predators. And then also we have some leftover fencing from our deer fence and so that'll be on the other part of the roof to keep the air predators out like the hawks. The top is covered with plastic fencing that we had left over from our deer fence. So we just stapled it all around the top. These, this other part up there, you see that's like four feet of shade um, roofing and it's slanted towards the back so that we can put in a rainwater catchment system. So we got six chickens and we kept them 16 weeks inside the house. We had them in a bathroom before and after photos. Let's see, now I gotta give you a treat, right? <laughs> Look at that one sliding. They slide on the. <laughs> check, check. Oh my god, you're sliding. You guys ice skating? <laughs> Oops, it's very slippery here. Oh, I better not fall off. Guys, go inside. Go get a snack. Woo! I almost fell. <laughs> go get a snack. Go. Go get a snack. I'll leave the gate open so you guys can come back out. And the uh, good girl. Where are they? Well, they're out and about. Let's see how far they've gone this time. So we leave the gate open for them. 
And then in the evening, they settle in, they come back. Let's see if I find them. Well, this morning I got five eggs, so that means that one of them owes me an egg. And let's see, there's one in here. Nope, nothing. Okay, where could they be? They're nibbling on something over there. So they're smart. They stay underneath the trees so that trees so that the hawks won't get them. Hello! Oh my God! Look at this green pasture. You got away from the snow. You've come a long way, girls, since you were two days old. How beautiful. You want to come say hello? Uh -huh. So this one is Bori, which is short for Boricua. And Boricua means Puerto Rican. That was the original Indian name, Borinquen. So that means the people from Borinquen were Boricuas. And then this one is Goldie. She's a little bigger. And the white one back there is, I don't know, either Elsa or Olaf. I have a hard time telling the white ones apart. And then my favorite, yes, I have a favorite, Toots. Toots, come here, Toots. She's very smart. Toots is the speckled one back there. Hi, Toots. That's Toots. Oh, I'm so glad you found this spot, girls. You're doing great. Finding a lot of little protein treats. And this is Cleo. Cleo has the most beautiful feathers, these iridescent feathers. And she's the lowest in the pecking order. I'm not sure why she let that happen, but she yields to all the rest. And they literally take food out of her mouth. But they do get along. Besides that, they all stay together. And they all get along. They sleep well together. They just like, they don't let her eat first. Or they just don't let her have a lot. And, um, but she manages. And, yeah. But when they're out and about, I mean, there's so much land here. They stay together. And so I've been training them to stay in our area. Because at first, they were just running off across the road, going to the neighbor's property. And little by little, I kind of just keep ushering them back here. And I think they're getting it. Like they haven't in the last few days, they have not been leaving our property. Um, yeah, so maybe we don't have to put up a fence. I hate to have fences. Well, we have a deer fence around the vegetable garden. It's, our garden is full of snow. Look how beautiful they are. And so there are no antibiotics, all organic food we buy them, plus what they harvest out here in nature. Good going, girls. They're good layers, too. They're laying nice big eggs. And Cleo here owes me an egg today. Cleo, where's your egg for today? And she lays the biggest and the darkest, like almost a chocolate brown. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So there you have it. Where are you going off to, girl? Hmm? It was worth building that coop for you guys. Well, actually, we bought the coop. We built the run, the chicken run. Yes. 
Look at you. Do you want to sing? You want to sing? So come springtime, I'm going to invite some people over with their kids and so that the kids can go to the coop and pick the fresh eggs. I'm going to teach them how to fry an egg out in the wilderness, outdoors, but as if you were camping with a small wood fire. And um, the kids are going to have to figure out who's the lowest and the highest in the pecking order. We had a lot of fun doing this project. I was happy to share it with you. I hope you've enjoyed it and maybe learned something from it. Like, like, like and subscribe. Thank you. Until the next one.